forward. Okay, this is meeting part two. Um, we're going to talk about file recovery. I've had probably more. First of all, can y'all hear me? Those of you online? Yes? Sure. I mean, those online, can they hear me? Let me make sure. Where's the chat? Yes, we can hear you. Yes? Okay. That's good. Yes, and what? Yes, we hear you. Okay. So, um, I, I will tell you that I've had more requests for questions than ever, because uh, normally I don't do five images in one semester. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to manually recover files using a hex editor. Who's in that class now? I know you are. You are. Wow. Quite a few of you. Okay. All right. We need to pick an image. Which image are we working with? Italy. Are we okay with Italy? Yes. Sandy, what's your, you with me? What? Okay. Well, I'll try to do a couple out of each of this. And I'm assuming we want Word documents. Yes. Imagine that. How did I guess that? Sure, okay. no, PDFs, those are the hard ones. Okay, so during the class, I demoed HXD, which works. But Hex Workshop has a couple other features in it, which I'm going to show you right now. It's under software needed. You can download it. So I'm going to open up our image. We go to the desktop and we want to get we'll do we'll do one we'll do a couple out of Italy and a couple out of uh, pirates okay now this is the exact image you're working with so I'm not cheating or anything okay we know by reading Gary Kessler's page that all office documents share the same header which would be D 0 C F 11 so that is a common header for all Office documents, not OSCX. This is OSC, you know, I mean, like DOC, PPT, and XLS, not the newer version. Um, the reason I remember this, I always think D0C is doc like doc like document, but it's not an O. It's a zero. Why is it not an O? It's hex. It's hex. Hex, it can't be an O. We can, cannot go higher than F, okay? So in this tool, there's an awesome option here called Find All Instances. So I'm going to find all instances of that. Now, if I click it, you'll notice I have 18 of them. So what is the first thing I need to do to my display here? Anybody? 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Just so the math works out right, okay? It's kind of hard with this teeny screen here. Okay. Now, when I click on these beginnings, you'll see they jump right to the beginnings of each file, which is a very, very, very handy feature. Now, one thing I didn't mention in class the other night, when I made these, I dumped them all in there, type at a time, in other words, all the Word documents, all the PowerPoints, all the Excel. So, if you think about it, so if I am a document, we'll say this starts at this value right here, I mean, if you can't see the numbers, you might want to move up forward, but it's D35C00. Well, the next one starts at D89400. Well, if that one starts there and that one starts there, this one ends right before this one starts. Understand what I'm saying? So if I was to write down, if I get notepad out here, let's write down some addresses. So we're going to write down, put it down here. We're going to write down this guy right here. So D35, D35C00, and the next address is that address. So what is one less than that? Anybody? D, I can see it fine, because I'm sitting in the front. Okay, that's the address, so what's one less than that? Okay, how do I figure out what the address is less than that? Okay, I'm going to bring up calculator. I'm going to switch to programmer mode. I'm going to go to hexadecimal, D89400. Minus one. Minus one. Ta-da, three FF. It's really three FF. So far, so good? So now I'm going to go to this address right there. I'm going to copy the ending one I need. So I'm, I'm, I'm at the beginning. I need to click inside there. Edit, select block, and I want to go into the hexadecimal value of that 
And I want to go ending position. Don't go size of block, just do ending position. And now it's selected. Now, a couple of different things you can do here. You can do edit copy, like I showed you in class, and edit paste into a new document. There's a problem with that. If it's too large, it'll crash your program. So what you can do is once you got to select, just go file, save selection. And we're going to call this as office one dot, we're going to guess it's a document. Just guessing, okay? I don't know for sure at this point. So I need to go here, oh, that we're in Italy, okay? I'm going to delete these guys because those are ones I've done earlier. We don't want to cheat here. So office one was I saved it as. I'm going to open it up and I get Come on. Oh, didn't work. So is my file bad? No, it's probably just not a document. All right, so let's change it. Now we're gonna try PowerPoint. There you go, it's a PowerPoint. Ever see how easy that was? How many hours you guys been messing with this? I can't get this off the screen. Yes, sir. So you can't really tell the difference. On, like, you can. The file you can. I'll show you how right now. So if I was to go down to the end, so we know our ending is a D893FF, okay? So let's go to that address. Go to that address. All right. How can I get there? Did I not copy right? Copy. There it goes. Okay, and I want to go from the beginning of the file because we're we're actually using absolute addressing here. So now there's the ending of it. So we know that ends right there because the next one starts right there. If you scroll up just a little, you'll see document information PowerPoint. So we know that's a PowerPoint. Okay. Now, I can't search for the word PowerPoint because mm -hmm. this was called Unicode. And this one won't let me search for Unicode characters. But I could search, no, I can't even search for summary information. See, there's a, you watch the other video where I talked about summary information, it's right there. Doesn't HXD let you search for Unicode? I think XXD will let me search for Unicode. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one will. Now, now, let me explain the difference between Unicode and not. Unicode basically has a larger character set. ASCII can hold so much. Unicode can basically hold double. So it takes up two for each, okay? Now, what if I did not know that this was the end of the previous one? What if I thought that right here, what if I thought this was the end of it? It's gonna be corrupted. Well, I know, but we're gonna figure out how to tell if that's the address or not. This is something I actually just showed earlier today, which I haven't shown before. So I'm gonna take that address. I'm gonna go, it's D89300, D89300. Now, to calculate, we know it's 200 hex, or 512 decimal. So if I convert that to decimal, then copy that value, then if I go over here into scientific mode and paste that value, okay? Now if it's, if it's divisible by 512, we know it's the start of a sector. So if it's divisible by 512, it's not. But we know that this is close, so it's 27721 and a half. So where is the next one start at? 27722. Oh, really? Because mm -hmm. this current location is 27721 and a half. So we know that 2722 is the next one. So if I go over here and go decimal, what's the decimal? Two, no, wait, hold on. 27722. Hold on. 27722. I need to multiply times 512 again. I forgot about that. Sorry. Remember, we divided by 512? I multiply times 512. Is that right? Uh, two, seven, two, two. Okay, two, seven, two, two. I need to do it in the other view. Oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong view. Two, seven, seven, two, two. You got to be in the right view or so it doesn't work. Times 512. That's what we wanted. Copy that. Now I'm going to go to the programmer, paste that value in there. Okay, now convert that to hex. 
So the next one should start at D89400. And yeah. sure enough, the next one starts at D89400. Y'all see how I did that? One more time, let's pick a different address. I'm gonna pick this address right here, okay? That address is in hex D891C1C0, C okay? I'm gonna convert it to decimal, copy it, get a scientific, paste it. Now I should, if it's, if it's the header, if it's an even number, I should be able to divide by 512, get an even number. It's not, okay? So what that tell me, it's 27720 and three quarters, basically. So the next one is a 27721. Y'all agree with that? So 27721 times 512, copy that. Then go back to here, edit, paste, then convert to hex. So D89200 is the next one. So there's the next one, okay? Now, just because it's not the beginning of a document, because remember, we write in every 200 bytes. So it just so happens this document. But since we know that, so D89200, so the next one's at D89400, and obviously it is. The next one starts at D89600, right there. So, so it's 200 hex each. Can I see that? Easy enough? Okay. So we got a PowerPoint out of there. Let's pick, let's go over here and pick the one down here, okay? The easy way to tell where, which ones are good is look at one that has a bunch of zeros in front of it. Okay. Did you add in a bunch of uh, uh, trash bags in front of the uh, no. class? No. So no. For... That's in the other class. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go with this one. So starts at 194AC00. 194AC00. The next one is at 19E900, 19E900. Subtract one, what do we get? 19, what? 19E8FF. Everybody say that? Because 8FF, the F becomes, you know, increments up. It's like 199 becomes 200, 8FF becomes 900. So if we did this correctly, I should be able to go to this address right here, which is where we're at. I should be able to take this address right here. i start at the beginning. Edit, select block, put in that address to the ending position. I did that wrong, didn't I? Did I go backwards? Edit, select block. Oh no, did I do it right? Are you at the beginning or the end? One nine E eight FF ending position. Something's not right. I did something wrong. Did I miss a digit in my number? Are you at the start or the end? Okay, the, I'm at the start, right? Wait, I'm, I'm on the wrong one, aren't I? I need to go to one nine four AC zero zero. Okay, I'm there. The next one is one nine E nine hundred. 9,000. There. That's why. I was off by a digit. Y'all see what I did wrong? It was 19E, 9,000. I did 900. Yeah, so I was like, what did we do wrong? Okay, so we go to the beginning again. Edit, select block. This time put in the whole number. File, save selection. I'm going to call this one. Office 2, we're going to guess that it's an XLS. So just guess. Okay, and we're going to open this one up. And we get... Wow. Perfect guess. We got a spreadsheet. Well, I want to know for sure if that was a spreadsheet. So I should be able to go to my Hex Workshop. And if we go to this address, which is, we know, the next one right here. We go backwards up a little bit. It's not always easy to tell. This one, it really sucks to tell. Wow, it's like terrible. <laughs> this is called trial and error, save it. 
normally there's something you can normally see in all Excels, which is the like the numbers, like the formats, the format. You know when you format a cell, it's I wonder why I can't see it in this one. Oh well, either way it works. It opens. Are we okay? How do that? Let's do one from Pirates. Sound good? Are we okay in Italy? File open. Let's open up Pirates. Yeah, let's go with this one. Come on, go away, screen. Go away. Edit, find. I'm gonna look for those again. I'm gonna find all of them. There we go. Wanna pick this one? Sound good? Yes. So we just picked four three zero zero zero. So what's the ending of the next one? That's what it shows. Seven seven. Oh no, seven six. six. Everybody got that? Everybody see how we did that? Where did we see that? We saw that the next one right here was seven seven zero zero zero. So then we just subtract one from it. So we highlight that, go to the beginning of our document, edit select block put in that value we just made. Again, we didn't even really do nothing. We're just looking at the find all. And naturally didn't get it. Seriously, why do I? Oh, I'm on the wrong one. See, there's a, I need to go to that one. There we go. Edit, select block, go to 76 FFF. Perfect. File save selection. And now we're in Pirates. We're going to call this a file one dot. What do you think it is? Let's do Excel. Another Excel. Okay, file one dot XLS. Okay, so let's go over here to Pirates. File one. Wow, it opened right up. I can't get it to come up. Chat. Yeah, I hear Mountain Dew. For, oh, you want to do Mountain Dew? Okay, I'll do Mountain Dew in a minute. Uh, can you use the Linux Magic File? Yeah, you should be able to use that as well. There's, I mean, you can do this in any language even. Linux Magic File should work. Now, tomorrow I'm going to show you guys how to do this super fast and easy. literally take 20 seconds. But the point is I want you to know how this works because that's a very critical aspect. So if the address is too wide of a gap, then it's probably not an office document. Now, if it's a huge office document, that could be it. Um, I think, was it, which one, was it Mountain Dew or Italy? I mean, I had a huge one in there. The problem was some of them, I left the embedded images on them. So they made them huge. And so there's like 9,000 JPEGs. I'm like, so sad, sorry. Uh, I think Mountain Dew was the one. Okay. I didn't All, right. On All right, so let's. I blame you. All right, so we know that one worked for Excel. Ah, no, get back up here. I need to get to the X. All right, so let's do another one. Oh, we want to do a pirate one? We are at a pirate one. Let's cruise down a few. We're going to pick this one right here. All right, let's see if we can do this one without me screwing it up. 27C4000. The next address is 2819800. Fix it for me. Seven FF. Everybody got that? We're gonna copy this. So we're gonna to go to that address correctly this time. We can actually make it work without messing up. Select block, paste it in, any position, file, save selection. That's what you think. File two dot PPD something? Sure. Okay. File two. That would be file two PPT and whoa. <laughs> now, see, this one has a lot of pictures in it. So what's happening is you guys, if you have pirates, these are either coming in as JPEGs or PNGs. Oh, look at all these. I think later on, like the sheep, I think I actually went through every file and manually deleted all the pictures. Yeah, but that made it a lot less fun. Well, I know. <laughs> All right, so how do I know? You know, speaking of this image, so obviously we can get it to work. 
How do I know that these images are in the beginning of the file or the end of the file? Let's go search for, let's search, okay, I need to find a, a JPEG, what is it? I want the hex value. He says BF. Now, if I do this again tomorrow, you're not going to get 20 bucks. Come on, the header for a JPEG. It's not DF, F, 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 F. You mean F, F, D, A? Good, good, good job. It's F, F, D, A, by the way. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. So we search for the beginning of a JPEG, and we have 2,617 of them. Whereas, in contrast, let's open up some sheep. So in case what you're wondering, each year I have a theme. I need a new one. No, yeah, no. Edit, find, let's do that one again, and this one. Oh, it still has a bunch. Wow. Okay, I lied, they both have a lot. Wait a second, that's sheep, that's sheep. Close this out, get out of here. Edit, find. Okay, Pirate has 2617 and Sheep has 8,000 something. Okay, but when I click on these, I'm, I'm gonna make this 16 wide, remember? Is that about 16? Now technically this is actually 32, I think, but let's get going. So if I click on these, if it falls at the beginning of the, if, it, if it's on the left-hand column, we know it's a not embedded in anything. And since we know there's a lot of Office documents at the top, let's cruise it down to the bottom. Wow, there's still more down there. That one possibly, wow. So who's got pirates? Anybody got pirates? Did you get any JPEGs out? Yeah. Why am I not finding it at the beginning? Actually, we technically could do this. Here's another thing we could do. We could actually do find zero zero FFDA. And only found 16. Okay. There's one. Obviously, we know that's the beginning of the file. There's the beginning of the file. There's the beginning of the file. There's the beginning. Of the file. So that's four. There's all five of them. You all see how I did that? Do we know. JPEGs embedded in the Word documents, do they count as? I would rather have ones that aren't embedded. Okay. <laughs> um, that's not a strange. But you see how I found those easily? I want to search for F58, but I included zero, 00 in front of it. Why? Because then I knew it was blank space before. It. And so now I'm just looking at the left column. Even though zero, 00 on the right hand is highlighted, I can see on the left column that the F58 is aligned to the beginning. So there's one, two, three, four, five. That's it. That's all five of them. These are all five outside the PowerPoint. These are not embedded in anything. So let's find one. One seven FF seven FF. So and what's the ending for a JPEG? FF D nine. I'm getting rid of the zeros this time. I only want to go to the next one. There it is. So it ends at one eight zero nine eight two A. Okay. So if I do that, and I go back to my beginning, which is that guy, edit, select block, to that address, file, save selection, and are we on pirates again? I think this one's in pirates. Um, so if my theory works, then we should have a file called pirate.jpg. Did I see how easy that was? Uh, pirate, that's Johnny Depp. 
Hey, hey, he's the most. All right. See, I've never shown it to do it that way either. See, every time I think yeah. of something new to show you. <laughs> you. Ever see how I did that? How I found the ones at the beginning of the file? Now, this will not always work because the only reason this is working is I wiped this drive beforehand and overwrote all everything with zeros. If there was file slack left in there, we'd have leftover garbage and this wouldn't work. Okay. Do I need to do another one or something? Uh, I've got the he was first. Yeah, yeah. I had some problems on that sheet mimic with the PDFs. Like I got all five of them, but they every time I opened them, it was like corrupt. Okay. Well, Good question. Let me explain something on PDFs. Actually, let's open up sheet. Okay, sheet Should, might have already been open. Okay. Let's find a PDF. That's actually a very good question because uh, Sandy had the same question. Okay, it's, uh, what, what am I looking for? It's a text string, a PDF, correct? Is it 2%? Yes, 2%. I think it's percent, percent EOF. Yes, percent EOF. So let's look for all of them. Okay. So there's one, there's another. We know these are good because they're probably, you know, they got blank space around them. So let me go in here and write down the starting address of 0005, let's see, 5CA00. Okay. So let's find the ending. Edit, find percent percent EOF. Don't go. So there's the next one. Now, so do I stop it there or do I stop it there? What do you think? The zero A. So that is five CCE nine. Five CCE nine. Okay. So in theory, I can go back to the beginning, edit, select block, ending position. I got it. File save selection, and we're going to call this. Are we in cheap still? Yeah. Um, what is? What did we just recover? Oh, uh, PDF one dot PDF. Okay, so we're in sheep. Let's go back to sheep. PDF one dot PDF. Please not work. Come on. So I want to show you if it doesn't work. Okay, it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Well, there's one thing I didn't really stress. I hate Foxy Reader. Okay, with PDFs, if I have a, a large Word document and I create a PDF out of it, I have a header and a footer, perfect. But if I have a bunch of separate PDFs and I combine them into one PDF, now I have a whole bunch of starts and a whole bunch of little beginnings and starts in between them. So if we go back to this address right here, 5CCE9, you all agree that didn't open, correct? Go to that address. I don't think that's the end of the file. I think it's in the middle of the file. So I'm going to find it again. Find text string. That looks like the end of the file. So I'm going to say that the end is actually at D96EF. D96EF. You all understand what I did? What it was is the first page was kind of in the middle of the document. So now we're going to copy this address again. We're going to go back to the start, edit, select block, all the way down to this new ending position. File uh, save selection and PDF one that PDF. Didn't ask me to overwrite it. That's weird. Uh, that worked. Oh, okay. That answer your question. Yeah. Yeah, because she asked me that earlier. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I never told you guys this. So was the start address the original start address? Right, the original start address. But what it was is we got to the end of the first page. But it doesn't technically have a regular start again because it's in the middle of a document. But you can have an EOF for the end of each page. Not end of each page, but end of certain pages. So this document is probably a long document that they had the cover page added separately or something. Okay. Now, sometimes with PDFs, if they're corrupt, what you could do is take the starting, take the starting group of digits, group of values, and the ending group of values, and just paste the other junk in the middle. And sometimes it'll actually work. 
So we did that in one of the classes I went to. But it's very hit or miss trial and error. Maybe you got some files slacked with a lot of leftover junk. You don't know what it is. Try making it to a PDF. Sometimes it works. Okay, so that answers the PDF question for multiple page PDFs. GIF, okay. Is sheep okay? Yeah. I had a weird yeah, Okay, let's find. What's the header for a GIF? Yeah, 89A and. Uh, not Kessler. Okay, Gary Kessler. Let's find GIF. Okay, 89A. It's going to be right there. 47. Yes, that's the header. Right there, 003B. Okay, let's try it. Now we're looking for hex. Uh, I can't copy it in there. Hold on. I need to somehow get this. I can see it on the screen. Okay. I need this. So let's go over here. We'll paste it down here. Now it's going here. I can't paste it in here, I won't take it. 47, 49, 46, 38, 39, 61. Okay, everybody with me? So I'm gonna go, okay. And there's only four. Some of these only have four, I emailed you all about that. All right, and then we're looking for 003B for the trailer. So our starting position, we're gonna go with this guy right here. We know it's a, it's a real fall because it's all, well, hold on, let's make it 16 again. Trailer is the same for each one. Okay, so let's go back to this guy. Each one of these you notice is all the way to the left, so they're beginnings. And when you paste something in another document, they don't become GIFs, they become JPEGs or PNGs, so you're good. So from here, we need to look for what? Actually, I need to write this address down. I need to write down 01DAC000. Okay, now in theory, I could probably go to the next one. It'll probably work. I could probably even reverse a little bit to get it, but let's just find the trailer the correct way. Edit, find, what is it? Wasn't it 3B maybe? 003B. Down. Oh, darn it. I did all of them again. I didn't want that. Is that what it says? Edit, find. That's not right. Turn that off. There we go. Ooh, that kind of looks like it's in the middle of something, doesn't it? Yeah, I need to find the other heading again. Hold on. I messed it up. And what was that again? I always mess it up one way or the other. I need, this. I need the signature again. So let's find the headings again. Don't let me screw it up again. Okay, so we want that guy right there. Now we want to find the trailer from him. Edit, find 003B down. Yeah, it is at the same place. Okay, so let's go 003B should be 1D8, 1D8, CD5C, CD5C. Well, it just doesn't look right to me. Edit, select lock. Okay, file. Save selection, and this is a GIF this time? Yep. GIF one. We're saving in the sheet, maybe it'll work. We hope it does. Yeah, it's kind of, see it doesn't look right to me. No, we're, we're, we're not done yet, hold on. Edit, find, so there's the trailer. Find it again. Yeah, 
I had to go to the next one to the next one. It like kind of rendered it like half the the gift and then another hmm. little bit, another little bit as I went down and got more. Okay, so let's go to this guy here real quick. Okay. So I went to this first one here, okay? Now if I go to the second one and I back up a little bit, there's a 003B right there. So what it is, it has a bunch of endings in it. Well, gifts we know are, are interlaced. They actually have a bunch of pictures inside of each other because that's where they, the uh, animation. So I'm thinking that's what it was. What we saw was one layer. Yeah. So if I go to this guy right here, which will be the true one, which is 1D9D, 1D90F14. I think this one's going to work. Select block, ending position, file save selection, GIF1. There we go. That is a mighty fine sheep. That is one sheep, all right. No, 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 no. But that's what it was. Those zero three Bs are the different layers in it. And once we got to the ending one, we know which book. So I guess what we could have done is we could have searched for zero zero three B zero zero. Okay, no, bad idea. <laughs> There's lots of them. How about how about more? 58. We're getting closer. Like I said, I that's what I had to do. Just keep going to the next one, to the next one until the whole 54. render. I'm thinking two to the next place. We keep adding zeros. Eight. We're almost there. So close. So close. Seven. <laughs> Man, I wish I had a paycheck <laughs> like that. <laughs> Five. Okay, so if we did it right, then my address, 1D9DF14, is one right after that. Yeah, just darn close. So it works. Yeah, it works though. We got them all right there. Because remember, we that's starting at the zero. So technically, if we just did 3B00, zero, zero, yep, that's everyone you need right there. So whoever's doing sheep, Subtract one, actually add one to each one of these addresses, you have all the trailing. I'm going to delete this recording. Right. Any other questions? Can I hear you not uh, requiring the EXEs this time? Right, if you want to know why I'm not requiring EXEs, it's because only two of the images had executables. See, last year they had to do executables and MP3s and a zip, seven zip file. But I will tell you, if you're lucky enough to have one of the images that has those in them and you submit those to me, you get extra credit. Also, they're but it's awesome. luck of the draw, because, uh, but if you're like in sheep and, and pirates, you got a darn good chance. Yeah, that's where they're in. So. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have sheep or pirates, you could go. Does that so, mean they're still MP3s in the other ones though? Some of them have an MP3, some of them have I kept adding something each year. Is there a lot of them? There's like five. There's one. Just one EXE, and if it has an MP3, usually it's something like yes. The MP3s and the EXEs are both totally worth checking out. I know because I made all of them. Hold on. Hold on. Google Drive. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. We're not done yet. Installing sheep.exe. <laughs> We showed lots of hints. <laughs> That's the one, in, uh, and here's the executable. You gotta see this one. So that's the pirates, and if you want to see the sheep, 
She's bad. This recording has very little to do with sheep. I'm making this recording because we have tired of bringing up sheep sounds on the internet. Then converting them to whatever file type I actually needed. So instead, I just made this recording that has just a little bit to do with sheep. Oh, we didn't get some notes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there's a sheep. So I know sheep and pirates have them. In it. All right, any other questions? I mean, I pretty much did your homework for you. What? Come on, seriously, I gave you all the answers. Thank you. All right, and I will be nice and I'll put this recording up tonight. So for Kathleen, who couldn't be here, she'll be able to watch it.